Hi. When you think of your hometown or village where you grew up, what places do you think of? This is a place that I like very much. Maybe you think of a place that is abandoned, or another one, this one is of historic value and as well as important to me. So today, we talk about why these sticks, or these sticks, are more than just pink strokes placed somewhere in the countryside. We talk about how these things set a focus point, a visible statement and impulse of change. To grow up in the countryside has shaped both of us as persons. As designers, we asked ourselves, how can we use our competence and skills to increase the value of rural areas? What can we do to enable people to rethink and imagine their homes as greater places in the future? Tagging places with these sticks is pretty much our approach of how to redesign these rural areas. We provide the ability to make issues visible and enhance communication and debate about a possible future. So when we think about rural areas, we think of, well, nature, lots of space for living, some sort of romanticism. But also we think of weak infrastructure, a lack of job opportunities, and increasingly elder people. So imaginations about life in the countryside can be very diverse. And in a time when urbanization increases, these areas are on the daily agenda more than ever before. As you can see here, about 90% of the area of Germany is considered as rural, or at least more rural than urban. And still over half of the population lives here. But many of these areas face um, very different kinds of problems to deal with. So the issues about these areas are widely discussed, but the problem is, in general, there is not the countryside. Too difficult or too different are um, the infrastructure, the economies, the culture of these areas. So we think there can only be very individual solutions to these very versatile problems. Luckily, this is a part of our profession. While studying design, we learned how to come up with uh, ideas and concepts to work on problems. We developed skills to come up with individual solutions for more or less complex issues. So we figured with these skills, we could actually add something new to debate about rural areas. So we decided to try in our master project. First of all, we need a certain issue, a tangible problem to work on. Second of all, we did not want to generalize. So we decided to work on an actually test site to start from. Moritz grew up in a village with around 400 people in the south of Thuringia in the middle of Germany. This became our experimental site. When we started, we have some things in mind about this project. We wanted to enable with the people in a participating, co-creating way. In some way, we wanted to uh, start imagination in terms of what could be as a first impact toward and actually change. So when we entered this village, we noted that the structure we founded are grounded in traditions. Roles have been set long time ago. The setting is where we live. So the challenge was to crack up the setting and the specific roles. To do so, we were looking for tools to mediate and describe the unspoken. The question is how to mediate, how to communicate between an external designer and the people of community. That was the question we needed to work on. We were trying to define a way that helps to express our thoughts during an active exchange of knowledge. We found that in the ideas of Lucius Burkhardt, the inventor of astrology, the science of the walk. Burkhardt invented the idea of the conceptual walk which he described as a tool for dialogue between participants. It is supposed to provide an easy connection to getting to know each other, to get into decision. A changed perceptive and personal role is supposed to generate new ideas. Did you ever notice when you go for a walk with somebody? Both of you most likely perceive the same things differently. That is due to your different association and meanings you interpret when you're looking at something. 
You draw an image in your head. You visualize your work. You can easily get into discussion about different perception. So we wanted to make use of that. To develop interaction between many participants. Our idea was to create a walk in a playful way. So we in invited everybody to go for a walk with us and introduce some tools that change your perception and enhance communication. To find your way, we use track finding tickets to involve everyone to into decision making. For example, one of these says, shows us a place that is fascinating to you. Or another one says, guide us to a forgotten place. These guiding tickets can be very specific. That way you can easily create in a discussion about something you intend to. Task ticket includes spontaneous, playful experience. For example, someone you get blindfolded. And someone else guide your way and explain to you what he sees. That way you get a special experience. To document the work, someone gets the task to take picture with Snapper. And that I use companions, a protocol sheet to write down what your experience. Both tasks make you think about your opinion and perception. What did you notice and how does it affect you? Gathering lands and gatherer give you the task to find interest in artifacts on your way. And if it's possible, take them to check them for details belonging to the big picture. Focuses and distance scope change your view. They provide you with a sharpened view and for a far look into the future to start imagination. If you have an image in your head, use Outlook to draw right into the air so everyone can experience it too. And Reflector helps you to think about what lays behind you. So in the beginning of the walk, we do not know what we will see, how we will see, and where. It can be exciting and playful with these very narrative tools. They manage to shape your role. These tools enable us to get to know each other better, the people and the places. At some point, we were thinking very interesting information we get to know by all these people. Why can't everybody be involved into this? To get to know your own home area from a different angle. And how can that lead into a discussion in the community? And from a discussion to envision and hopeful later action. So the plan was to enable even more. That brings us back to these pink sticks we introduced in the beginning, or as we call them, one bag, landmarks. Uh, these are just one example. This is one example of landmarks uh, nearby my hometown. Um, most commonly known landmarks are widely visible, often topographic things that characterize an area. But shown that before, there are another small things that cannot be noticed that easily, these things characterize the area too. Most likely, the people that live here do know these places. So they know what they were, and they know what these things are now, and what meanings stick to them. Our question is, what can these places be like in the future? So the plan was to enable the people to mark their opinion about places like this, to set a landmark of their own, to define and redefine their own environment. So we went in the woods with a local ranger, got some branches, and craft these sticks. Um, in a green and brownish environment, they needed to be very widely seen, so we painted them a bright pink, um, as we think it is one of the most unnatural colors. Also, we sharpened one side of it to make it a nice and solid picket. To offer this opportunity, we needed a place that everybody can enter, a place that was visible to everyone. So we needed to make it loud and bold. So we decided to redesign the bus stop. We placed our sticks up there, plus some banners that describe what to do and why with these sticks. First of all, think of a place that you like to tag for a change. Then, second of all, you go and get yourself one of these pickets. And next thing is, as you can see on the right, we have provided some flags. Um, different kind of categories, like is it a place that you like, is it a place that is awful to you, maybe it is a place that is abandoned, or um, what else, maybe it's an historic place. If none of these flags is correct for the place you have in your mind, 
you can also describe your own. Next thing is easy. You put the flag on one of these pickets, or actually your picket, and place it at the spot that you like to tag for a change. But important to us is the next thing. Please do not forget to tell us something about this place by using this picket description book, which is placed at the bus stop. First of all, where exactly is it? Because we don't know the place, really. And so mark it in the provided uh, map. Second of all, why is it important to you? Please answer us. And another thing is, like, what do you think in several years? What will this place be like? So in the beginning, we did not expect anybody to make use of our offering. But when we invited everybody to the grand opening of the Landmark Space Station, people were coming. And in the start, we placed around 30 sticks of these um, at there. After a week, they were gone. So we had to do some more and place some more at there. After about four weeks, we had like 75 of these pink sticks taken and placed around the area. So yeah, basically the whole village was full of them. So we went off and documented the places, the meanings that stick to these places, and provided information on a digital map on deinelandmarke.de. It was very interesting to see the people using our offering and placing these landmarks, but not only in this village, also in two others nearby, which is not on the map currently, um, also there have been places tagged. So we are very happy with this participation and interest in yeah, the people own surroundings. So um, somehow a debate started to occur. And at some point, also imagination started. Some ideas to these places already exist. Some are our own. Some are right from the people. Some are pretty concrete. Many of them are more abstract. For example, to reopen the youth club again, or at a spot that offers a nice overview of an area, place a bench there. Or another one is find a way to uh, tell the legends about the village in a yeah, more modern way. So, sort of that. The next thing what we did is to invite again everyone of this village to go for an evaluation walk. So we went off to check out some of these places and talked about what their, their thinking is to, the, to it, actually. Like, what meanings stick to these places and what imaginations occur in, their people's, uh, in the minds of the people. So that way, by inviting all the people, people came together that would have otherwise probably not. And in some way, we achieved a pretty much new connection between the people due to their own participation and interest in their homes. So we think, as designers, there are lots of possibilities how to redesign rural areas. Um, for example, we have one brought with us. This is an area where the former inner German border crossed the land. Today, it is a nature reserve area with wild cows and horses. You can walk through it and have a very natural experience. But as we noticed, not many people really make use of this area. So we, th we think about it, why don't we just place a big landmark up there to make it noticeable from very far away, as you can see on the left? Or what about places that are in use today, but due to the demographic change, who will take care of these places in the future? An example on the right. Like, yeah, this is the thing we were trying to yeah, achieve, actually, a rethinking of an area. So. What we did is only one way how to redesign rural areas. We hope that many more people make use of the tools we created and the better create their own tools to get people involved into a process of change. So this project shows that design is not only a profession to form objects of our daily life. So we think of it more as a profession to f uh, form a process. In our case, design and process mean design to enable, design to imagine, design to experience. By taking places, we're able to make op uh, your opinion visible. Um, when you walk around and notice the landmark like this, you experience the spot very different than before and hopefully imagine something about it. But in the end, it's up to the locals to work on the best future they can think of. 
What is your personal landmark? Rethink your home area. What do you like about it? What don't you like? What can you imagine to make it better? Be a designer yourself and let people know what your imagination is. Use hashtag Deine Landmarke and take a place to make it visible. Thank you so much for your attention.